We have had some strange weather this week, including historic snow in April, and I'm sure a lot of you have gotten caught in the hail showers or two of those this week. We got an email from Brian who wrote, I have a question for Matt Zafino. With all the precipitation that's been coming down in, my recent, in the recent days, in my atmospheric science class, I learned about grapple as a form of precipitation as snowy balls that are smaller than 0.2 inches and that hail must be greater than 0.2 inches. The stuff that's been falling from these thunderstorms has been pretty small, seemingly smaller than 0.2. So I would assume that would fall under grapple rather than hail. But Wikipedia also says grapple is usually very soft and comes mainly from winter storms in high elevation. So which is it? I got to tell you, I have no idea. So that's why I'm so happy that Matt Zafino is here to explain. Matt. A lot of good information there. First of all, Brian, kudos for taking an atmospheric science class. Love that. And a lot of what uh, Brian just said or the, what Pat just read there is right. But size doesn't matter as much uh, in determining whether or not it's hail or grapple. So let's get into this. We'll start with hail because people are more familiar with that. And for that, you have to dig deep into the structure of the cloud itself. Usually big showers or thunderstorms where you have updrafts. So this is hail, mind you. So it starts with a raindrop or a water droplet that becomes frozen and is swept high up into the cloud by these updrafts. Now eventually it gets high enough in the cloud where the updrafts weaken so it's able to fall back down. But then it hits the stronger part of the updraft and it gets swept back up. And it will do this many, many times. And each time it does it, you get another layer of ice and the hailstone gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it is eventually heavy enough to exceed the strength of the updraft and it falls on down. We'll talk about hail size in a bit because hail size does matter when it comes to damage, right? So that's hail. Now, grapple is very much like hail, except it begins with a snowflake, not with a raindrop. So up in the clouds, you have snow, snowflakes, right? They fall. As they fall, they fall into a layer of what we call supercooled water. So that's water that is existing when the temperature is still below freezing. That's really quite common in atmospheric and cloud physics here. So it falls on down and you get the raindrops or that supercooled water freezing onto the snowflake. And as Brian mentioned, the end result is that you get these little tiny white balls and pellets that resemble small hail, but they're not hail. It's grapple. They're softer, as Brian also mentioned, and they're crushable. And you do get them in the mountains more often because up in the mountains, you have a lower freezing level. You've got colder air all the way down to the surface. So you see it quite a bit. I see it all the time when I'm skiing on Mount Hood, but we get it in town sometimes too. Uh, the harder part about getting it in the valleys is our temperatures are above freezing, so it will oftentimes melt as it reaches the ground, but not this week because the freezing level is so very, very low. So that's grapple, that's hail. I want to go back to hail size though for a minute because it matters when it talks when you talk about damage. So as we talked about, the hailstone will fall out of the cloud and this doesn't apply to grapple because it's softer, but hailstones are hard and pick your favorite sport and you can see the diameter of that sports ball. Like a tennis ball is two and a half inches in diameter, right? So the stronger the updraft, the bigger the hail has to get to overcome that updraft and fall down to the ground. If the hail is one inch in diameter or bigger, that is considered severe weather and severe hail. And you know what? It's pretty rare for it to get that big, exceptionally rare to get the four, four and a half inch softball size hail, but it does happen. There was four inch hail in Georgia just yesterday. Rare, but it does happen. What's much more common is the small hail what we've been getting this week, pea size. I saw some that was about marble size, so bigger than a quarter of an inch. So Pat, everything you wanted to know about grapple and hail, probably way more than you wanted to know, but <laughs> there you have it.